Hi students, let's talk about calculating pH. Let's go ahead and get started. How about your lab notebook or a piece of paper? Let's take some notes, starting with the essential question written at the top. How do you calculate pH? So we're gonna kind of go a little bit more in depth this week about acids and talk specifically about pH. Now we talked about it before, but the pH scale is just a scale that rates solutions based on their concentrations of acids or bases. But the big question is, is where did this scale come from and how do we figure this out? We're gonna talk about how to calculate it in a minute, but I really wanna remind you that the pH, if it's neutral, it has a pH of seven. Anything below that, pH of 6.9 all the way down to the negative numbers are acids. In fact, the lower the number, the stronger the acid. If it's a pH of 7.1 or above, it's basic. And the higher the number, the more strong of a base it is. Now, again, the pH scale is based on the concentration, um, but the concentration of what? Well, we have hydronium, which is H3O+, and hydroxide, which is OH-. These are different polyatomic ions that we'll see dissolved in these solutions. Now, if there's a lot more hydronium, then it's more of an acidic solution. And if there's a lot more of hydroxide, it's more of, of, of a basic solution. And so we saw the simulation before, but I just wanna show you that again, if I increase the amount of hydronium, the pH goes down, it becomes negative pH or, or it becomes a lower than seven pH and it's acidic. If I decrease that concentration, then the hydroxide concentration increases and it becomes more basic. And so this is kind of an important concept when we talk about pH. So how do we calculate pH? Well, there's a bunch of ways to do it, but the one we're gonna use is this one. pH is equal to the negative log of the concentration of the acid. So we're just gonna focus on the concentration of the acid. And so that's what the square brackets H plus means. So square brackets represents the concentration. And then the H plus is just represents that we're just talking about the acid. Now remember, it could be H plus or H3O plus. We're gonna kind of use those interchangeably. So just remember, you might see one or the other. Now remember the concentration, another name for concentration is molarity. So we're also gonna be using the molarity equation. So the H plus concentration or the molarity of the acid is equal to the moles per liter. So we're gonna need to use both of those. So let's take a look at an example. Let's go back to that simulation. So here in the simulation, here is an acid. Now we already know the pH is two, but where did that come from? Well, let's apply that calculation. pH is the negative log of the concentration of the acid. Right, so what's the concentration of the acid or the H3O plus particles in here? Well, this has a very high concentration of H3O plus. It doesn't look high because it's uh, negative two in the exponents and this is a, seems like a small number, but for H3O plus particles, that's a lot, it's a high concentration. So if I take the concentration of H3O plus and plug it into the negative log right here, then I'm gonna get my pH of two. So that's where that came from. Now, what if the solution was basic? Well, here we have a solution and there's still H3O particles in there. There's just not a lot. The concentration is very low. So I'm still gonna use the P, I'm gonna still gonna use the H3O plus or the hydronium concentration, plug that into the negative log, and I'm gonna get a very high pH. So we're just focusing on the concentration of H3O plus here in order to determine the pH. Um, and that's how we're gonna deal with that. So let's take a look at an example that you might see in the practice problems or the test. What is the pH of a solution that contains 0 0.00007 moles of hydrochloric acid dissolved in 1.5 liters of water? So I'm looking here and I don't see a concentration. It's not telling me a concentration, but it is giving me moles and liters. So I'm gonna take a look at my equation section on my periodic table and it gives me a lot of equations. And I see that one of the equations that it gives me is the molarity equation. The molarity is equal to moles per liter. So using that, I can solve using my variables in my problem, I can solve for the molarity. So plugging that into my calculator, 0 0.00007 divided by 1.5, that's gonna give me this a number in scientific notation, 4.7 times 10 to the negative five. So remember, molarity is concentration, and this is the concentration of the acid. So we're getting one step closer to our pH. So now we're gonna use the pH equation, also found in our equation section on the periodic table. The pH of a solution is equal to the negative log and the concentration of the acid. Well, we just determined that the concentration of the acid is 4.7 times 10 to the negative five. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in there. Now this is where it gets a little challenging because I know some of you guys are like, how do I even plug that into my calculator? Well, I'm gonna show you my calculator here and I know every calculator is a little bit different. So I'll give you some examples of where you might find that on different calculators. But for my calculator, here's my negative button. 
And there's also a button here that says log. So I'm going to use those buttons together to create this formula. Later on, when I do my exponent, I'm going to need my little caret here to get that negative 5 in the end. And so if I plug that into my calculator, that's what it's going to look like. Negative log, and then in the parentheses, 4.7 times 10 to the, using the caret, negative 5. And so those are the buttons that I would need to use. Once I put en push enter, I'm going to get my answer, which is 4.3. And so the pH is 4.3. This is definitely acidic solution because it's below 7. All right, so everybody's calculator is a little bit different. You might have to go in searching through your calculator. You might even need to look online for some of the manuals if you don't, if you can't find it directly on there. But here's a bunch of common calculators I've seen and where their log buttons are. Some of them log buttons, you need to use the second command in order to access that log function, which is absolutely fine. But you might need to look around for your calculator's log button. Yes, even your stock calculators on your phones typically have a log button as well. I know that Apple devices, you might need to rotate it in order to get more functions. And then depending on your Android device, you might have a little tray that opens up and you can access those log buttons. I don't necessarily recommend you use the stock calculators on your phone. Either find a more powerful calculator app that gives you multiple functions or use an actual calculator you might, a scientific calculator you might use in a math class. All right, let's end by talking about how to calculate concentration from pH. So we're kind of flipping the script here. Let's say we knew the pH of a solution and we wanted to figure out what the concentration of either the acid or the base was. So there's two formulas here. The, this formula, one of them is written on your periodic table, but I don't believe the other one is. The one that's written on your periodic table is this top one right here. The concentration of the acid is determined if you take 10 and use the negative pH as an exponent in order to figure that out. Now, to find the concentration of the base, it's very similar. 10 and then an exponent is negative, and then you do 14 minus the pH. The reason this works is because if you remember, the pH scale is on a scale from 0 to 14. And if you remember back in our um, simulation back here, if you increase the pH, the OH, or if you increase the uh, hydronium concentration, the hydroxide concentration kind of goes in the opposite direction. And so we just take 14 minus the pH and we're going to figure out what the OH concentration is. So let's try this in a couple of practice problems. What is the concentration of acid in a solution with a pH of 3.2? And so we're going to take that formula the concentration is equal to 10 with an exponent of negative pH. And so I'm going to plug that in there. The pH is 3.2, so 10 to the negative 3.2. In my calculator, it might look something like that. And I'm going to get my answer. So the concentration of the acid here is 6.3 times 10 to the negative 4 molar, because the molarity is the concentration. Now, what about, what about the base? So here we have a base that says, what is the concentration of sodium hydroxide? Remember, hydroxide is a base. So we're going to go ahead and figure this out. We have a pH of 9.5. And so I'm going to take 10 to the, neg to the negative number, and then it's 14 minus 9.5. And then plugging that in my calculator, it's going to look something like that. So the concentration of my base here is 3.16 times 10 to the negative 5 molar. Not too hard. All right, this brings us to the end of the notes. Take a moment to review and highlight the important parts of these notes. Maybe if you need to ponder and ask questions and go back to ask those questions to your teacher or to a live teacher session or go back, go back to the discussion, ask more questions, or better yet, go answer some questions and summarize the essential question. Answer that essential question on your page by giving some detailed explanations. Maybe even come up with your own problem. All right, students, good luck.